Well, Milo, there's only one way to get off this one block, and that is to build the richest millionaire one block island. And we only have until the sun goes down to complete it. Ah, this is part of my alley, Chip. You know, I'm at the watcheries. Like, you know, slightly moldy cheese and whatever's under the couch. Ew, gross, Milo. Okay, we're going to need a lot more than just whatever those disgusting things are for our luxuries here. These super-duper luxury mansions are going to be insane. A lot better than moldy cheese, that's for sure. We love cheese. Me is Milo. Wait, what? Milo, what is that? Is that some sort of poem or something? Yeah. I think you might be good at making poems, but I'm pretty good at making landscapes. I'm making a really cool opening walkway, and I think it's really going to set up the beauty of my luxury place. All right, that is now complete, and okay, this road is looking pretty good, but I think the actual house needs to be way nicer looking. I'm going to use spruce, and I'm going to use barrels, and hmm, I think we'll also use some sort of fancy bricks, but what kind? Hey, quartz bricks look pretty fancy, and obviously we're going to need some glass too. I've got a really good feeling about this mansion. My mansion's gonna be a really luxury thing, Milo. I'm kind of excited for you to see it. I hate glass! What? Milo, why do you hate glass? Because it breaks! It breaks? Milo, of course glass breaks. It's fragile, but you just gotta take care of it and then it won't break. Well, why would I want to buy something that always breaks? Milo, glass doesn't always break and why do your glasses always break, Milo? That's actually kind of weird. Well, I like to fart them around. Okay, Milo, if you are throwing around your glasses, no wonder they break. Of course they're going to shatter if you chuck them at the walls. Well, that's just something I want to be doing, and glass doesn't want me to do that. So, I'm not going to be doing glass anymore. Wait, Milo, what are you going to do instead? Plastic. Ew, Milo, you're going to have plastic windows? Yes, and dirt. Oh, okay, Milo, won't the plastic just melt in the heat? And also, the dirt would probably just melt anyway. Dirt is not very strong. Uh, well, I'm gonna have non-melting plastic, duh. Oh, okay, and wait a minute. Won't the dirt not even be see-through? How are you gonna look out your windows? I can dig a little hole in it. Okay, Milo, if all of what you're saying now is true and you're actually gonna make a house that looks like this, I have a feeling mine might just be a little more luxury, and I don't want to build a too luxury one. What if I build one that's so much better than yours that you don't get away off the island. Well, I'm actually richer than you, so I'm actually gonna be building a much more millionaire house. What, Milo? You're not richer than me. Come on, you gotta tell the truth, yeah? I am richer than you. You don't even know what my bank account says. Yeah, no, Milo, I don't think you know either, because you can't read the numbers. I can't read the numbers, and all I'm gonna say is there's a lot of yeah, because you have zero dollars, Milo. Okay, I think I'm probably going to build a little bit more luxury than you, but it's okay. It'll be a learning opportunity for you to learn how super cool and rich I am. I think this is a pretty good shape for my outside wall, but we're going to need to fill this in with some quartz bricks and some glass. I'll just do an example wall to show exactly what this is going to look like. We'll make the quartz bricks like this, then hmm, I think we'll make the glass go floor to ceiling. That's the fancy kind. All the really, really rich people have floor to ceiling glass windows and this house is going to be no different it's going to be just as luxury as the other ones and you know what i think we can even have some shroom light in here that is going to make this mansion feel really warm and cozy inside i think if we continue this design on every single one of these windows this house will end up looking really really cool and you know what maybe even right outside we could have some grass blocks that way we could have a lovely garden outside each window oh yeah this is definitely coming together let's put this design on every single one of these walls. In the middle one, I think we should definitely leave an open gap. This way we can have some glass panes so that it's like a giant super modern entrance door. Oh yeah, this is looking pretty cool. I've got a story. Milo, what's your story? Well, it starts basically how I'm going to explain to you why I'm really sad today. Milo, I didn't know you were sad today. Yeah, I've been really sad lately. Do you want me to tell you why? Yeah, Milo, why have you been really sad lately? Well, it's mainly just Firelight's fault. Milo, what has Firelight been doing to you to make you sad? Well, I was playing on a server the other day, and pretty much I got really scared by a snake. A snake? Milo, I didn't even know there were snakes in Minecraft. I know, right? But all of a sudden, I was just building my house, and there's a snake there, and guess what? What is it, Milo? What are you about to tell me? It was pranking me. It was putting me into all of these dangerous situations, and after a big day of crazy stuff, I think I might have an idea. Idiot Firelight! 
my load, just because he turned into a snake and pranked you a little bit doesn't mean you can call him an idiot. That's a mean word. Well, that's what I'm saying right now, and it's how I'm feeling. And if I see him, I'm going to punch him. Milo, do not punch Firelight. I don't think he'd like that. He's also pretty strong, so he'd probably punch you back. Well, just because he's more famous than me doesn't mean he gets to get away with stuff like that. What, Milo? He's not more famous than you. You've got wanted posters all around town. Yeah, because everyone wants to hang out with me. Yeah, um, that's not what those posters mean. But you know what? I don't think now is the time to tell you exactly what those posters really mean. I think I'll tell you inside the mansion. Yeah, when it's built in, I can build a nice cozy room for you to have a tantrum in when you eventually realize. A tantrum? But that doesn't sound like something I would be having to tantrum about. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about this later. I think you might realize something pretty soon, but you'll also realize just how good my build's gonna look. This area is now looking epic. We've made the walls, but I think we're gonna need to start making the floors. Let's use spruce planks for them. I think these will look very cozy inside of this luxury one millionaire block mansion. And done. The floor is now fully complete and oh yeah, this mansion is really starting to look like how I want it to. Although, I don't know, this glass is kind of strange. I wish there was some sort of glass that didn't look this weird and wait a minute. What is this? Hang on. Let me test this out. Oh my goodness. The windows are so much cleaner with this glass. Uh, yeah, I think we need to use this glass right now. Oh, that is so much better. Now every single window in this luxury mansion looks crystal clear and it means we're ready to start building the second level. It's going to look very, very epic. The second level can look pretty similar to the first one. What if we change it up a little bit though? This way we can have it go slightly further back. It'll give us a giant outdoor your balcony area and it'll make sure this next level looks really cool and has a bunch of privacy and isn't just a one-for-one -one copy of the previous one. What about you, Milo? Are you building a second level for your luxury mansion? Don't need one! First level's luxury enough! Wait, what, Milo? There's no way having one level is gonna be luxury enough for a super luxury million dollar block mansion. Well, you would think that, but actually, I know the facts. What, Milo? What are the facts? Well, you only need one if you're gonna put lots of stuff in there that's good. Oh, okay. So you're saying that the stuff you're gonna put inside your millionaire block mansion is gonna be so good that you only need one level? Yeah, plus I'm gonna have lots of luxury things on the outside in the garden, like a jet. A jet? Okay, that's crazy. I'm excited to see that, Milo. That could be really cool. Yeah, me too. I'm just thinking of the design in my head right now, and hey, Chip, your house isn't looking hot. Hey, thanks, Milo. Yeah, I've just started it now, but just you wait. It's gonna look even cooler the closer I get to being finished. Trust me, Milo, I think you're really gonna like how luxury the second floor of my house looks. Oh, yeah. I think we should also have a really cool castle turret design for this super luxury mansion. Castles are one of the most luxury houses in all of history. So if we make our luxury mansion look kind of like a castle, it'll feel even more luxury. I think that's a really good way to make sure we definitely have the most luxury house. Now that we've done a whole bunch of the floors and walls on the second story, all that's left is to make the roof. And hmm, I think for the roof, a really, really cool design would be to use diorite stairs and and smooth quartz, although, you know what? I think we'll go crazy. We are going to use polished diorite for the roof. I really hope this looks good and doesn't end up looking completely awful. This could either go really good or really, really bad. I really hope that really good is the way that it goes, though. If this goes bad, I'll be so sad about it. Let's go crazy. Lush go crazy. Milo, what does that mean? No, no, no. I said, like, let's go crazy. Oh, let's go crazy? Yeah. Milo, that is a new way of saying that that I've never heard you say before. Uh, and also, I forgot to tell you something about the firelight. Oh, no. What did you forget to tell me about him now? The worst part about it is I didn't even know that he was pranking me as a snake until he posted a video about it. Wait, what? He posted a video about you getting pranked by a snake? Why would he do that? I don't know, but it's weird. And one day, I'm going to get him back. Milo, I would never do that to you. I promise. Yeah, I know. And I, you would always stick up for me because you're my brother. Exactly, Milo. I totally always stick up for you since I'm your brother. And also, we're really good friends. Yeah. 
The roof is coming along really, really nicely, but I think it could look even better if we double layer it. This spruce and diorite combo is looking insane. And now we gotta make sure we put it all along the rest of the roof. Yeah. What is it, Mila? Do you think that since we're now living in the millionaire houses, I can buy myself a Wally Wally? Oh, Milo, I think you can buy yourself more than just one Rolex. You could buy yourself about a hundred of them. <laughs> Oh yeah, Milo, I know that all you've ever wanted is a Rolex, but now you can want for so much more. Being on a $1 million block is insane. Yeah, and also I'm building a Lamborghini right now so I can drive over to you. That is so exciting, Milo. I cannot wait to see how it looks. Just like how I can't wait to see how epic this roof looks when it's fully done. This mansion is looking insane, and I think the walls and the main structure are now completed. Now it is time to build something a little bit more special in the very center center of the opening zone, I'm going to make a giant fountain. This fountain is going to be really, really cool. It's probably going to be the first thing that people see when they walk up to my super cool mansion, so it needs to look really epic and very luxury. Chip, guess what? What is it, Mila? I know that I'm rich because I have two pillows now. Two pillows? Wait, like pillows to sleep with? Yeah, because I usually only have one, but now I have two, which is luxury! Whoa, honestly, that is kind of luxury. Some people have a bajillion pillows, so you know that they're really, really rich. I don't know if I could ever be that rich. Yeah, me neither, Vilo, but having two pillows is really cool. I am very proud of you. You're making some big steps up in the world. Yeah! Speaking of big steps, we just need to add more of these little white terracotta tiles all the way around, and then we'll be able to make the fountain actually flow. Let's get going. This is going to look really good when we're done. Okay, this is now looking pretty epic. Now it's time to make this water fountain truly flow with the water. Oh yeah, that is looking awesome, but it's going to look even better if we add little slabs here, just to make the water fountain even bigger and look like it has little layers. Wow, this is such a nice water fountain. I'm really happy with it, but look, we can make it even taller if, wait a minute, how do we make it taller? Oh, we just do that, perfect. But that's not all that's gonna go on this fountain. This fountain is also gonna have a really special extra feature, one that's honestly pretty cool. I'm gonna grab a sign and on this sign, I'm going to write the name of one of our newest members. Thank you so much to Salomo Arts for becoming a member of this channel. It's pretty epic that you could become a member and have your name featured in a video. This is the Salomo Arts Luxury mansion. Now, I think this is pretty cool, but obviously we're gonna dye the sign orange. That way, Salome can have a super cool colored name that fits in with the entire build. Now that we've made this really cool fountain, we need a really cool garden to go alongside it. I'm gonna start making the garden right now, and we're gonna have a huge grass area for it, too. And the grass area is now complete. This is gonna make for a really cool garden. Let's get some leaves and a bunch of other stuff to use, and... Wait, Milo, is that you? Did you change out Outfits and wait, what? What are you talking about, Chip? I look exactly the same. Well, actually, I did brush my feathers this morning, so it could be that. Oh, um, never mind. I must just be seeing things. Did I just make that up, you guys, or did you guys at home see that too? Huh, that is really, really weird. I guess I'll just go back to building since I better get done before the sun goes down. Let's add leaves all the way around this mansion. The leaves are gonna make this place look really fancy and way nicer. Aw, they're already looking so cool. I think once we add the leaves, this place will really start to shine. I think every good mansion has a bunch of greenery at the front. Even really, really famous millionaires like Lady Gaga. She has a bunch of bushes outside her mansion, and it's pretty cool. So many celebrities have them. Chip, why does the sign on your fountain say? I can't read it. Oh, the sign on my fountain? That's Salomo Arts. They're a channel member, Milo. Wait, what? Yeah, Milo, we've got pro memberships now, and if you're ready for pro perks, you'll probably want to join it. We're talking exclusive shorts, personal shoutouts, even Minecraft playtime with us on our own server. Oh, yeah. membership because that's my one and we get loyalty badges custom emojis names in the fields on videos and replies to the comments every week who needs fancy extras in the pro membership 
Uh, sure, Milo. The noob membership is great if you like the basics, but pro members get everything noob members get, plus major upgrades, like voting on new video ideas and pro-only giveaways. It's the ultimate experience. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Chip. Noob members get to influence what we make next, too. And our perks change every month. And remember, you can cancel any time. That means there's no stress and it's all fun. So pick your side. Join Team Noob with Milo or Team Pro with me. And let's make you part of the Milo Chip family. Maybe the Milo Chip family can even live in a giant house like this. But hmm, it's not going to be much fun living in a giant house. Even if it is luxury, if there's nothing inside. That is why the first thing we're going to make is an indoor dirt bike track. Or maybe not a dirt bike that seems a little noobish i think we can do a super cool luxury golden bike track uh yeah i think that's a good idea we're going to use blocks of gold and blocks of raw gold to make a giant dirt bike track or gold bike track that goes around the entire bottom level let's clear out a pretty big area for it this track is going to be insane and it's even gonna hang off the edge of the void this one is gonna be pretty rad and pretty dangerous but that's okay because anybody on this track will definitely be able to afford a helicopter to be able to catch them if they fall off. Oh yeah, that is looking perfect. Now the final step for this super cool bike riding track made out of solid gold is to make some quartz handrails. Otherwise, this would be a danger zone waiting to happen, and this is just gonna make it a lot safer and a lot more fun to go on. Wow, since I'm a luxury boy now, does that mean I'm gonna be wearing the suits every day? Or can I still wear my cool body outfit? Milo, just because you're rich doesn't mean you need to wear a suit every day. You can wear literally whatever you want when you're rich. Wow, that's awesome. I'm going to wear really funny things. Yeah, that would be so funny. A lot of rich people kind of just wear boring, fancy clothes, although they are really expensive and cool. I wish they'd wear funny things instead. Can I show you a funny thing that I'm going to wear? Okay, Milo, I'm so excited to see. Milo, what's rich about this? What? You said I could wear anything! Yeah, Milo, you said you'd wear something funny, not something scary like a jack-o'-lantern. I thought that was funny, but I guess my stupid pumpkin was stupid! Oh, no, Milo, don't throw it into the void and... Oh, sorry, Milo, I didn't mean to make you feel bad about it. It is kind of funny in a way. What about if I wear this? Oh, boy, what could you be wearing in... Whoa, Milo, those are really fancy gold boots. How did you get those? I bought them! Wow, I am very impressed, Milo. That is so fancy and luxury of you. I'm never gonna be taking these off. These are staying on my feet till my deathbed! Oh, ew, Milo, weren't they get disgusting? Uh, no! Milo, they're definitely gonna get smelly if you don't take them off until the day you die. Well, I don't know how to take them off! What, Milo, they're stuck on your feet? Yeah. Oh, Milo, that's a terrible idea. Okay, maybe I can help you take them off when this super cool go-kart ride totally blows your socks off. Okay! Okay, we have now finished the outer layer on this super cool gold racing track, and I've even left an area with no safety guards. That means if you mess up on that loop-de-loop, -loop, you could totally fall off. Now, we actually need something to put on this place. I think this mini bike is perfect. Look how cool this is. Whoa, you can actually ride it and we can spawn down so many more. Having a bunch of motorcycles is a very rich thing to do. The more motorcycles you have, the more rich you are. I think we should also have some classic motorbikes and some golden canisters for fuel. We'll put down the motorbikes here and whoa, they are a lot bigger than the mini bikes. I wonder which one will be a better choice for riding in. All right, we'll fuel every single one of these up and whoa, I can hear the engines powering. This is crazy. Let's make sure we get every single one and we do not miss a single bike. That way they will all be fully fueled. Now let's give this bike a test drive. Oh yeah, I've now fully gotten this motorbike working and I think it's looking pretty good. I can kick it into a pretty high gear and whoa, going around the track is so fun. Uh, Milo, I think you're really gonna enjoy this. Not fair because I'm actually building a golden luxury floating bathtub. Oh no, I almost fell into the void, but Milo, that sounds epic. Yeah, epic, epic. I'm gonna have pool party. Oh, that is so exciting, Milo. Now, inside of here, I might not be able to have pool 
cool potties, but I think I will need to be able to have regular potties. That is why I'll need to grab some sofas. Not just regular ones though. Obviously we're gonna be using royal sofas because those are so much fancier than the normal ones. These are going to look very, very cool, but hmm, we'll need to leave a lot of space in here for a double staircase. That's because a lot of rich people have multiple staircases leading up to their next levels in their houses. It's pretty cool and it is pretty rich. This one is gonna be no exception either. This house is gonna be epic. Milo, do you know one thing that really rich CEOs like to do when they get a bunch of money? No, what is it? They like to go to the movies, really luxury movies, and they even get gold class tickets. That's why I'm adding a gold class movie theater inside my luxury house. What? You have a gold class movie theater? Oh, I'm definitely gonna be visiting your house. You'll totally be able to, Milo, but I don't exactly have it yet. I need to make a giant red curtain wall first, then we'll be talking. Yep, I think that is definitely a good size. Now, we'll need to make a giant screen up the back here, and obviously we're gonna use black concrete for it. Black wool is kinda too bright to be a screen. When you have a screen, you want it to be as dark as possible. That way, every single pixel on this screen is so clear and easy to see. That's why sometimes when you go on your phone in the sun, it's really difficult to see it. It works the same for TVs, so by having a giant movie theater cinema screen, we've got to keep it in the dark, like this. Now, also, we do need a little bit more space to be able to look at it from. That is why the actual entrance to the theater will be from outside here. There will not be any distractions on the side walls, or wait a minute, I just came up with an even better idea. Maybe instead of the entrance being here, this could be a giant open seating area. The seats could even be on the balcony. That way, it's like a drive-in movie theater with seats outside and oh yeah, this is the perfect idea. I'm even going to use royal red sofas and some royal red dye to make these seats look as luxury and insane as possible. Let's dye them red like this and then we can place them like that. Whoa! This definitely is starting to feel like a gold class movie experience. These seats are already double wide. That is huge! Not a lot of movie theaters really get double wide seats seats. These are basically like movie couches. And the middle one obviously is going to be triple wide because uh, I think it's even more luxury. And Milo, what is that you're building right now? It looks like a helicopter. It is a helicopter! And that's how I'm going to get to all my meetings. Your meetings? Milo, are you turning into an actual CEO? Yeah, and since I'm a luxury CEO, I've actually been thinking of some inspirational quotes that I can tell people. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, because a lot of CEOs do have really inspirational quotes, but Milo, what are your inspirational quotes? Well, there's three. Do you want to hear them? Oh, yeah, Milo, I really want to hear what inspirational quotes you've come up with now that you're a CEO. The first one is, turn your smile upside down. Milo, that sounds really similar to turn your frown upside down. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant to say. But Milo, turn your frown upside down means go from frowning and turn it upside down so that it looks like a happy face. If you turn a happy face upside down, it means it turns back into a frown. Okay, faces are really confusing for me, so maybe I'll tell you the next quote. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good idea, Milo. What's your next quote? Don't cry! Milo, that's a ridiculous quote. What if somebody gets hurt or they stub their toe or something? Well, too bad. My quote says, don't cry. Not even if you're watching a really sad movie in the movie theater I'm building right now? Don't cry! Okay, I guess that's an easy quote to remember. Milo, what's your third quote? It goes like this. I'm gonna punch him! I'm gonna punch him and... Milo, what does that quote mean? It just means if anyone messes with you, you're gonna punch him. Milo, you cannot be threatening to punch people as a CEO or even just as a member of society, really. You shouldn't be punching people. Oh, wow. My guardian chicken laid an egg. Your guardian chicken? Milo, what is a guardian chicken? Um, his name is Matt Matt and he guards this island. Oh, okay. Why are you making him lay eggs on the palm tree island? I didn't make him lay the egg. He just did it himself because he's an independent boy. Wow, that's cool and... Milo, if he's an independent boy, why is he chained to a tree? Uh, that's just so he doesn't drown. Oh, okay, but don't chickens kind of float in the water? Wouldn't he just not drown anyway? I don't remember. Okay, Milo, that's really suspicious. You know what? Maybe you and Met Met can come over to my movie theater. I'm even making really cool side holes in the curtains so that people can just walk right in. It'll be like an actual cinema experience. You could actually 
possibly make money from that chip. Yeah, I could, but I like to think that whoever's going to be living in this luxury house will be so rich that they won't even need extra money. They can basically let people into the cinema for free because they're already so rich. Uh, free! I like free things. Yeah, me too, Milo. This cinema is going to be insanely good to get for free because it's going to be a great cinema. We're going to be able to have the newest movies in here and we're even going to have some crazy surround sound systems. Oh, surround so sound. That's like when I drowned. Oh boy, Milo, you are absolutely crazy. But one thing that's also crazy is having a bedroom inside a luxury cinema. That's what I'm going to have over here. It's going to make this bedroom even more luxury and... Hmm, I think we could even have a crazy snack machine. We're going to have a melon popsicle and an item frame. And oh yeah, we're going to have lots of epic snacks inside this room. It's going to double as a snack hall. And hmm, let's see what other epic snacks there are. Obviously, we're going to need some hot cocoa in a movie theater. And you know what? I think some cake could be perfect too. Now, I think we could also have a delicious burger in here. And what else is there? I say we could grab one more thing for the movie theater. There are so many good options here, but I really want to want to pick the best one. I do not want to mess up and pick something that's not super duper delicious. I say we get a roast chicken. This is going to be absolutely perfect. Now on the walls, we can have a hot cocoa cup, slice of cake, a hamburger, and some roast chicken. Let's make sure we have another wall full of these things. That way, people can have as much as they possibly want, especially the hot cocoa and the cake, of course. I think these are going to be the most popular, followed by the hamburger and anybody who wants roast chicken to be healthy. Now, this movie theater is also so very special. Inside this movie theater, we are going to have the name of another channel member, Junior Nienze. Oh, this is so exciting. We have Junior Nienze as our next channel member. Thank you so much, Junior, for being a member of the channel. You are absolutely cool and definitely cool enough to go in front of the giant luxury movie cinema screen. Oh yeah, this is definitely the best cinema of all time. Now, I think outside we should make a luxury car and... Wait a minute, I see somebody there and oh, they just disappeared. Oh, something is going on here. Hang on a minute, let's go outside. I'm sure they'll still be here and there's nothing there. Oh, Milo, if you're playing a prank on me right now, you gotta stop it. I'm gonna get everybody at home right now to comment the time that this is at below in the description to prove I'm right. Chip, I think all the money has gone to your head. Uh, yeah, luxurious, sure. Great work, Milo. I do not want to tell Milo this because I don't want to be mean, but I do not think Milo is winning this challenge. His build is mostly made out of dirt. It's flooding. There's a chicken tied up on it, and I think the chicken wants to go home. There's also a helicopter with legs and... Is that a plane with one wheel? Oh boy, Milo is really gonna struggle here. You know what? I think Milo's been spending too much time pranking me or spying on me, unless that wasn't Milo. If it was Milo, it would make sense since he clearly hasn't been spending too much time on his build. But if it wasn't Milo, then that is seriously scary. Maybe it's somebody else. I honestly have no idea who could even be pranking me right now. This is kind of starting to scare me. Maybe I should spend less money on building a luxury house and more money on building a luxury defense system to stop people from breaking in here or looking through my windows. I'm gonna find exactly who did that to me and I'll put a stop to them spying on me once and for all. I just need to finish decorating the inside of my house first. And you know what? I think this level is looking pretty good. One thing that this house really needs is a luxury car zone. And I think the best place to put that is in this lower level in all the empty space we've got here. Every single luxury car garage needs a bunch of luxury cars and obviously that is what we're gonna do here we're gonna have only the best and most luxury cars possible these ones look pretty cool but i think they'll look even better when we place them all down like this whoa look at this green car and this cool amethyst one too wow these cars are very very amazing they're also really rare and super expensive not a lot of people get cars like this but we have a super duper luxury house so we totally can wow these cars are amazing 
bit. Uh oh, we might need to move these ones a little bit over. We could totally drive them like this. Wow, we can even position them so you can see the cars from the front of the house. That means anybody walking in will immediately know just how rich we are and how many awesome cars we can afford. We should probably try and avoid hitting the uh, the motorbikes with these cars though, because otherwise that could be pretty bad. We'll also place gold cars down on this side as well, and we'll place the light blue and the orange ones as well. Now behind the staircase, we'll place our gray one, our red one, and our cool shiny copper one. Wow, this build is looking pretty epic. Almost as epic as our new memberships. Speaking of which, have you joined Team Pro yet? Why would I join Team Pro when Team Noob is where it's at? My noob members get all the basics, plus common replies and loyalty badges. That's all you need. Sure, Milo, if you like basics, but pro members get exclusive perks, like being in our shoutouts and playing Minecraft with us on our server. Real VIP access. Fine, fine, but noob or pro, everyone on the members wall is part of the Milo chip team. So if you haven't joined yet, hit that join button and be one of our first members. Exactly. Join Team Pro or Team Noob, and let's see who can grow the biggest squad by the next video. Yeah! Speaking of growing really, really big, I need to finish this staircase on the other side. Then I have a couple final incredible add-ons to put inside this house. I think they're gonna make this place real luxury and real fancy. Now, one of the final additions we need to make is a diamond swimming pool. This swimming pool is going to be so crazy because it's literally gonna be made out of pure diamonds. That is one of the most expensive swimming pools of all time. And it's gonna be really fun. We're even gonna have a super cool diamond board and let's grab some more diamond blocks. We can use stacked diamond blocks for it. Look how pretty these look. Whoa, these are epic. They're super duper luxury and they even make an amethyst noise when you place them. We'll even make this pool, hmm, I think about three blocks deep. That makes it way cooler than a regular pool. A lot of Minecraft pools are just one or two blocks deep, so you can barely swim in them. This one being three will make it way deeper and way cooler. Oh no, it seems that some stuff has grown inside my pool box up Thing. What pool bathtub thing in- Milo, ew, there's algae and seagrass in here. I don't know, it's actually kind of pretty. I guess if you're building an aquarium, Milo, do you expect people to swim in that? Well, maybe I could put some fishies in there, but it can't be an aquarium. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. Aquariums are pretty luxury and really fun, honestly. Milo, if you put down an aquarium in there, I think that's a great decision for your build. Well, damn it. Wow, that was really fast, but, uh, Milo, you might want to plug up the hole. I think your fish are in trouble. Oh, they're swimming out! Oh, Milo, how are you going to save them? I don't know. I just have to let them go. What? Milo, what does that mean? Do you mean fall into the void? Uh, they won't fall into the void. They'll just keep swimming. Okay, Milo, uh, are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm really positive. Okay, as long as you keep positive and you're 100% sure that these fish will be fine, I'm sure they will be. Okay. All right, I think one area that fish will not be in is my pool. Let's quickly finish adding these diamond blocks, then we can fill it with water. This is looking epic. Now let's grab our water bucket and fill this thing to the absolute top. Okay, that should be it. Now the water is flowing in pretty nicely, but... Hmm, I think we'll need a little bit more than just water here. We're gonna need to add a floating DJ booth. This is gonna have a jukebox, some stained glass. Oh yeah, this will definitely be a great floating DJ booth. We'll even make it pink so it kind of looks all vaporwave and cool. We'll add some note blocks too, just like this. And hmm, I think this is looking super duper cool. The DJ can do a crazy beat drop on this thing. <laughs> Oh, Milo, it sounds like you're making some sort of music over there. Yeah, I was just reminding you that I'm actually a DJ myself. Wait, what? Milo, I didn't know you were a DJ. Yeah, I'm a DJ, and you can hire me to DJ your party! Okay, my party could have DJ Milo. That'll actually be really cool. Imagine how good it'll sound. DJ Milo in the house, spinning up those Oh yeah, you totally will. Now, hmm, I think we can have some pretty cool lights inside this thing. I'm gonna add some searchlights to the pool so it looks like an actual party. How amazing is this? Really amazing! 
Oh yeah, this is so epic and wait, what? Why do the lights keep placing to the side? And wow, that is literally perfect. Now it looks like an actual party is going on. I'm very, very happy with how this is looking, but I think we're definitely gonna need to make a helicopter pad. Right now, there's nowhere luxury for people to land. If you're rich, you just get into the house the normal way. And I do not think the super duper rich luxury people are gonna be happy with that. That is why we're gonna make a little wooden staircase sticking out here. This will hold up the giant helicopter pad we're gonna put on here. This helipad will mean that every super duper fancy and super luxury helicopter can land here with ease. Now in order to make a giant helipad we're gonna need some concrete to make this message absolutely clear. We'll need to make this a giant H shape. We'll put the H right in the middle like this and we obviously will even make it my favorite color which is orange. If we had a different color helipad it would probably look really bad and you know what I'm even gonna make it a little bit wider just like this. This way there is plenty of space on the helipad pad to catch every single giant helicopter that might want to land here. I see you have some sort of helicopter already landed on your build. Yes, I did build that. Milo, it looks like it's landing directly on the roof. Are you sure that's safe? Of course. A rooftop landing pad is something that a luxury boy would have. Yeah, but Milo, it's not exactly a pad. It just lands directly on the roof. And there are castle turrets right next to it. Mine are at least three blocks away. Well, Things. Oh, okay. Um, what other luxury things do you have? Well, I'm gonna have to show you later because I don't want to give you any ideas. That's actually a good idea, Milo. I'm not gonna give you any ideas either. It'll be a total secret. Now that my helipad is completely finished, we'll just make a little entryway into the main hall. Oh, yep. Yeah, now you can fully get inside. This is perfect, but... Hmm, I think we can add some even fancier things like golden jetpacks. These jetpacks will really also help make this build way more luxury than it was before. Not many people can afford jetpacks, that's definitely for sure. Hmm, I think one thing that also will finalize the luxuriness of this build is having a secret vault. Every single rich person has a secret vault, of course. They just don't want you to know about it. That's why this secret vault is going right over here in the corner of the house with nothing else added. It makes it extra sneaky and mysterious and you know what I better take my jetpack off inside I don't think it's exactly safe to have here this golden vault will contain well, I can't exactly say what it'll contain, but it'll be very important for sure. Let's grab our super fancy gems that we can add inside this vault, just like this, and whoa, they look so cool. Now we'll also need to add some gold coins and of course, some iron coins. I thought these coins were silver, but I guess iron's pretty valuable too. It's how you make a lot of blocks in Minecraft. We'll make this a little bit higher up like this. Oh yeah, this is definitely looking super perfect. We'll add more gems and coins, and now I guess it's just time to add some bronze brass bars because this looks a lot like gold. Nobody's getting inside this vault. That is for 100% sure. Oh, this build is so amazing. I've added so many things and it's really looking... Wait a minute. Hey, you. Yeah, you over there. What are you doing sneaking around the masterpiece that I've made? Oh, this is so strange and... Wait a minute, he's gone. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, this is so weird. All right, I'm just gonna add the final finishing touches to my build. Oh my goodness, Milo, the time is up. We gotta stop building right now. Yes, I stopped. Okay, me too. Now that we don't have to build anymore, um, Milo, there was a guy around my house. I don't know where he's gone, but oh, there he is. Milo, look, this is the guy that's been snooping around my build and I've spotted a couple times. Listen, pal, you better back up my secret weapon, a very strongly written letter with an extra finger wagging. Whoa, Milo, he says his name is Rich Uncle Pennybags and he will be the decider of the winner of today's challenge. Oh, what I said before, that was a joke, haha. <laughs> I don't even know how to write and I totally knew who you were all along, haha. <laughs> uh, well, I guess it's time to show you around, Mr. Pennybags. Let's check out Milo's build first. Yeah, boy, come over here. Milo, what is this place? Behold, the fastest jet in the skies. If you ignore the fact that it doesn't actually leave the ground. Milo, you built the fastest jet in the skies, but it can't even fly? Uh, moving on. Um, welcome to this awesome car. An all-terrain, eco-friendly, and the rims, the hay bale gold. My friend, only the finest. What? Milo, were you reading from palm card notes or something? No, I wouldn't do that. 
Oh, Milo, that's right. I forgot you can't read. Hey, I think the hay bales are a nice touch, but the car is still made out of dirt. Yeah, but it's really pretty and it's a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini? Wow, okay. I've never even seen a dirt Lamborghini before. I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, check out over here, everybody. Every millionaire needs a private island. And look, here's my security team, the Lone Chicken Met Met. Oh, yeah. Hey, Met Met. How's he doing? He's been tied up this whole time. He is delighted. Oh, okay. That's epic. And this is the Golden Swimming Pool. It is also a museum and also it has fish in it and you can swim. Oh, okay. Let me try swimming in this thing and whoa. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. See, I told you, Chip. And also the grass helps to clean you while you swim through it. Uh, yeah, sure. Cleaning. It's definitely not just a bunch of algae. And Milo, you said this was a gold pool, right? Yeah, that's gold. Milo, this is yellow wool. It's gold. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. It's gold. And Milo, what is this place? This is Jip Jip's house. Oh, is this Jip Jip? Yep. And this is also Jip Jip. Wait, what? Milo, since when are there two Jip Jips? I'm so rich, I can afford two! You duplicated your friend? Yeah! Two is better than one! Oh, wow. Okay, I guess that is sort of true. I'd be creeped out if you cloned me, though. You better not even try that. Oh, in a matter of time. Okay, that's really scary. Come on, Mr. Penny Moneybags, or whatever your name is. We can check out inside and... What is this place, Milo? This is the luxury mansion of my dreams! Whoa, Milo, Luxury. Luxury. Do all these signs say Luxury? I spelled it myself. Oh, yeah, I can kind of tell, but what is this? Is this a TV zone? Yeah, with the Xbox, we got double TV, lots of big gold coins, and my crown, and also some tweets. And my microphone! Milo, you said Xbox, but this is the PlayStation 5. Oh, yeah, that's right! Milo, do you not know what you've even bought? It seems like you just went on Amazon or something and clicked all the buttons. I did go on Amazon! Oh, Milo, you gotta know the console you're on and... Wait a minute, did you actually go through with the microphone idea? Yeah, of course, this is the microphone, check it out. Milo, this is a telescope and it's not even looking at anything. You can't even look through the little telescope hole. Well, that is your problem, not mine. And yes, Mr. Moneybags, this is a secret vault. Oh, what? Hey, it's amazing that he could tell that it was a secret vault and... Wait a minute, does this mean we get to go down into it? Yeah, hi! Because the one upstairs is a decoy. Whoa, that's cool, Milo. I like that you got a real crown, but I can't even see it. And whoa, that's really fancy. Yeah, that's right. I'm luxury, and that's why Mr. Moneybags is going to vote for me. I don't know, Milo. Let's see what Mr. Moneybags thinks of my build. Welcome, one and all, to my amazing, super luxury millionaire manor. Wow, check this place is actually pretty major. Yeah, it's Major Millionaire Manor. That's its actual nickname. And it's got a huge fountain out the front and a giant, massive living room. Let's go inside! Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you'll notice I have a massive car collection. Wait, Chip, is this what I think it is? Uh, yeah, Milo, this is a solid gold racetrack. But also, the cars are made out of solid gold, too. This is incredible! Yeah, it totally can, and do you guys want to try something cool? Yes, please. Well, if I get a key, I can give one to each of you. Now, you can each pick a bike, except this one. Do not pick this bike here. It doesn't work very well. Then, you can grab a different bike and hop on it. I'm going to pick this one! Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, you can hold V to activate the bikes and start the engines. Wow. Now, I didn't have all of us get on these motorbikes for no reason. We are going to have a proper race around the gold track I made. But, but, I really want to win. Yeah, of course you want to win. I want to win too, and I think so does the Monopoly man. Yeah, he looks like he really wants to win. All right, then. Let's see who can actually win in three, two, one. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, me too. This is pretty difficult. Make sure you guys do not fall off. Otherwise, you'll totally lose. Hey, how did you ever take me in? Oh, gosh, I nearly just fell off. Whoa! Whoa, Milo, be careful. And oh, my goodness, I nearly fell off too. I need to go really slow around this loop. I wonder how Milo's doing. I'm going to be fighting from now on because I lost my bike. Wait, what, Milo? You're going by foot? Yeah. 
Oh. Wow, looks like we're both running now. You guys are both running? Oh, my goodness. That means that I win the motorcycle race. Oh, man. I guess it's kind of rigged since you actually built it. What? I haven't even been around the full track yet. That was my first time. Yeah, right. Okay, now I think I should probably show you guys the upstairs area since there are some pretty cool things up there, too. Yeah, this balcony is yeah, it is very bougie. And also, oh, uh, that's nothing. You guys should ignore that. Okay. Now, in here is a giant cinema with a bunch of gold class double and triple seats. This is my seat. Okay, Milo, you can have the best seat, but Monopoly Man gets to pick his favorite too. And oh, he picked the one behind you. I said next to him. Wait, what, Milo? You can't just switch seats. This seat is all for him. Everybody gets their own entire double or triple seat. <laughs> Okay, I guess if you guys want to sit together, you totally can. But there are so many seats to choose from because this theater is kind of massive. Uh, is this what I think it is? Uh, that depends on what you think it is, Milo. What do you think this is? A restaurant library! A restaurant library? No, Milo, this is a snack bedroom. It's like a bedroom that somebody can sleep or chill in. And they have so many snacks here. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, Milo, you found the hamburger, and so did Mr. Monopoly Money Man. And he also found the cake, too. My personal favorite is the hot cocoa. It's so delicious, and oh, yeah, that's one thing I totally forgot to mention to you guys. What is it? These are actual jetpacks. Here you go. You each get one. Oh, thanks. This is fancy. Milo, you just took the Monopoly Money Man's jetpack. I'm sorry. It's okay, Milo. I think he forgives you. But do you guys want to know the craziest part about these jetpacks? Uh they're not even the main thing we use. We actually have custom private helicopters here. Let me grab an orange one and place it on the helipad. What the? Oh my gosh, this is a real working one. Oh, but there's only two seats, so I guess I'll just fly behind you. Oh yeah, sorry about that, Milo. This helicopter is just for us to use. Hold on, Milo, I'm landing my helicopter right now. It's a little messy, but okay, you know what? I think that's good. That's a great landing. Wow. Yeah, it's very fancy and very luxury to land on the roof, but uh, it only matters what Mr. Monopoly Man thinks of all this. Yeah, Mr. Monopoly Man, what you gotta say? Oh boy, I'm nervous, but after careful consideration, I have chosen my winner. <gasps> Chip, congratulations, old boy. Wait a minute, I win! Yeah! 